So, uh, we're Travel Centres, we're the largest consortium in the country. Uh, we've got 76 members located throughout uh, the Four Corners. Uh, we've been doing this for the past 13 years. It's, uh, it's uh, an event that's grown um, over those years. Uh, so, for example, today we've got 48 uh, suppliers, not only from Ireland and the UK, but also a sizable contingent from France. And it's our opportunity just to act as a kind of an honest broker that brings uh, suppliers, uh, disparate suppliers from many different uh, parts of the industry together so that they can meet, they can uh, network with travel agents and indeed from the travel agents point of view so they can you know, tap um, into the expertise that these uh, people can provide them with. And it's all about you know, making things happen, acting as a catalyst for trade and business into the future. Day one, uh, the morning sessions are always closed sessions so that we can discuss in camera, as it were, all the important issues affecting the industry and our agents in particular. The afternoon, we usually bring in speakers uh, and we try to vary the content as much as possible each year. So over the course of the past number of conferences, we've had sessions on credit card fraud, cyber security, data protection, etc., etc. So um, it has to be relevant, it has to be beneficial, uh, and as I said earlier on, we try to make it uh, entertaining as well. The speakers were Neve Waters from uh, Travel Media, uh, discussing a case study that uh, of a Facebook campaign we ran earlier this year with one of our partners. We had two young lads, Darren Murray and Alan, Alan Masterson from TravTab, uh, who have developed a, a wonderful new app that we are trying to introduce to our agents. We had uh, market updates from Ivan Beacon from Aer Lingus, uh, Rebecca Kelly from MSC, uh, Mandy Burry from Celebrity, and today we are having uh, Jennifer Callister from Royal Caribbean. On day one, we also had a market update from Travel Board, who are one of our technology partners. So on the last day, after our, all the hard work and networking is done, we let our hair down. We don't take ourselves too seriously. We have these fabulous uh, fancy dress themes that we've been running now for the past three years. We bring in great bands. We have a lot of surprises that we bring in, you know, that are, have been unscheduled, unexpected, which just heightens the whole expectation. Uh, the problem, of course, is that, you know, your, I suppose your biggest competitor is yourself because you're trying to up your game from the previous event, but I think touch wood, uh, people will say that we haven't failed to reach those high points each year and hopefully this event will be no different to the others.